Oh, welcome in everybody. How are you? It is Menu Monday and did you have a good weekend? Well, the big weekend was for Tanya Tucker. Two shows at the Ryman that were full and all sorts of special guests. We'll be talking about that coming up. Plus, we're going to talk a little bit about some new donuts. Five Daughters Bakery has just released their June flavors and they're pretty amazing. That's in our Daily Yummy brought to us by Mid-South Exteriors. But first, kicking things off with the Nashville Predators. Have you got season tickets yet? Hockey and Music City just hits different. It's one big honky-tonk party. It's the sea of gold in the crowd. The goals, the saves, the celebrations. It's an experience like no other. Experience Predators hockey all season long. Visit NashvillePredators.com slash season tickets and join the Loyal Legion today. That's NashvillePredators.com slash tickets. And we'll see you at Bridgestone Arena. Well, speaking of Tanya Tucker, uh, the trainers, I was sitting with trainers for her horses. That is not Tanya's horse. That is Lau. Lau is a um, is a world famous world champion Frisian stallion. And uh, his trainer was there with a beautiful lady with the, 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 the big hair. She's got hair like a Frisian horse. She's an amazing trainer. And uh, my friend Ricky Cook was the handler. And the, the two of them walked out on stage. And Tanya, well, let's just put it this way. The trainers were there. And they got some really cool video. All right, and I let not I got the clip too for be on a stage. Now this is the first time this has ever happened. No one has ever ridden a horse onto the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. Now, for those of you that don't know horses, getting a horse to go by all of that stimulation is not an easy thing uh beforehand they were out in front they were getting that horse ready um they have to keep the tail all braided up and and kept up uh it can't just be left to flow like that to keep it that pretty and then they had the, the mane all done in braids and so they had to take the braids down they had air conditioning on the horse it that horse that do you see that trailer <laughs> and they go all over the world showing this horse and here is the shot. And that horse just stood there. I just thought that was amazing. Just amazing how they got that. Speaking of, you want some good, amazing horses. Uh, coming up June 22nd, the Mustang Heritage Foundation brings you the Mustang Extreme Mustang Makeover. And that is for all people. If You don't even have to even really love horses to really see that these are wild horses pulled from the plains of America and taught to do the most amazing tricks, the most amazing things. June 22nd, uh, it's the 22nd through the 24th, but uh, I will tell you, just get your tickets now. They have VIP tickets and they have regular general admission tickets. This is for the whole family. It's going to be fantastic. Well, speaking of the whole family, don't forget the Nashville Zoo. We have a brand new show. Do you know about the brand new show? It is called What's New at the Zoo with Jim Bartu. Mr. Jim Bartu takes us behind the scenes at the Nashville Zoo. But other than the show, you can go behind the scenes yourself and see a whole bunch of dinosaurs.
What's up everybody? I'm over here at Medical Center right in front of the Holiday Inn Hotel where all this construction is going on, where I receive at least 10 messages a day about what's going on here. Now, I was going to wait to do an update on this one because there, I've heard so many different things about this, but uh, I'm going to give you all what, what I got so far because I get a lot of messages about this one. So here we go. Obviously, that's a gas station, right? We don't know which one yet. Even the guys working here don't know which one. I took a second to go over there and ask them. They don't even know, but they know gas station. Uh, liquor store, I believe on that far one, I believe that's where it's going. I know a liquor store is going here. There's going to be some small retail. I was told a Mexican restaurant and a gym of some sort. Now the gym, that's pretty much all I got. Could be an anytime fitness, could be a cycle bar, could be whatever, but I was just told fitness place, gym of some sort. So Mexican restaurant, small retail, liquor store, gas station. As far as when all that's going to be completed, don't know. They're laying a bunch of electrical lines back there right now. So I would assume pretty soon. So there you go for everybody who's been asking. There's your update on this spot. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get to them as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Thank you, John, Mr. Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro.com. You can follow all of his updates on his YouTube channel and all social media. But man, he is the guy in the know. It's time for a daily yummy. And I thought we'd go to Five Daughters Bakery. Y'all, they take donuts and croissants and turn them into something so good. I'm not allowed there anymore, but <laughs> they have a maple and bacon that has real bacon on it. A maple bacon donut. Y'all just stop. Stop with it. But $5 Bakery, uh, every month they release some new flavors and those flavors are coming up. And for those of you that are watching your calories or your sugar, they have many ones too. Brought to us today, our Daily Yummy is brought to us by Mid-South Exteriors, my friend Brenda Fielder and their family, making your outdoors more accessible with an indoor-out room, a good sunroom, or maybe replacing that old, that old dated siding. They can do it. Hi, I'm Brenda Fielder. At Mid-South Exteriors, our custom sunrooms bring the sunshine in without all the heat and the bugs. And they keep you warm all winter while you enjoy the outdoors all year round. They add real value because we build them like your house to match your house. Or let us save you energy by replacing your windows and old siding. And because we have no retail overhead, we come to you and sell direct to you for less. Call us at 833-8003 or visit us at mid Let's check out all the delicious June flavors at Five Daughters Bakery. This is the 100 layer cinnamon sugar toast, 100 layer dipped cone, 100 layer lemon icebox, 100 layer strawberry shortcake, and 100 layer chocolate eclair. This is the mini 100 layer cinnamon sugar toast and a mini 100 layer strawberry shortcake. This is a yeast raised lemon icebox filled, a yeast raised strawberry glaze, and a yeast raised cinnamon sugar toast. Finally, we have a paleo lemon icebox, a paleo strawberry shortcake, and a paleo sun butter chocolate. We'll see y'all real soon. Y'all, <laughs> it's just amazing what they do. Five Daughters Bakery is in East Nashville and they're really incredible. Well, Governor Lee was on hand last week to welcome a new partnership to our state. It's foster care month in our state and the Church of God in Christ has partnered together with Department of Children's Services and other partners in the community to meet the needs of foster children, providing space in the transition time between when they are taken into custody and placed in a home. This partnership has been a game changer for these children and we're proud of what it means for kids in Shelby County, especially those kids in the foster care system. I love so much that our state is doing for our children in foster care. Uh, the Department of uh, Child Services doing some amazing things. And you can be involved if you feel called to help children. The first row of defense. And there are so many things that you can do to volunteer to help. Even if you can't take in foster children, there are so many wonderful things. There's, called, there's one group that I love. Uh, Dr. Kathleen Kun Kunkel is part of it. Uh, she's a veterinarian here in town, but she wanted to help children. And it's called Wheels of Love on Wheels, Love on Wheels. And it uh, gets new or gently used 
uh, suitcases because a lot of foster kids literally are pulled from their homes with nothing but garbage bags to hold any meager belongings that they have. And that has an impact on children. So if you'd like to find out ways that you can help the Department of Children's Services is amazing. It's time for our motivation moment. It is Monday and we love talking about that. We love it, love it, love it. And for this, we're going to go to my friend, Carrie Miskey. She and her husband, John, are uh, part of an organization called Women of Faith and Hope Uganda. Now, Carrie and Justine, her African partner, Carrie just went she went to Africa with her son as a chaperone for a mission trip with her church. And amazingly, she just was, she just felt called. And so she and her partner in Africa created something so beautiful. And I'm going to be doing some stories from women of faith and hope Uganda. And I, this is the story of Beatrice. And I thought I just have to share it with you. It's brought to us by our friends at Rackley Roofing. They said I wouldn't make it without a college degree. They said only a man could be a roofing executive. They said a former addict always relapses. They said my amputation would keep me out of roofing. They said never give an ex-convict a second chance. They said I could never be a leader. They said I couldn't support my family as a single mom. At Rackley, we say they're wrong. Want to change the world? Change it, one roof at a time. Of Faith and Hope Uganda has Middle Tennessee roots that stretch across oceans and deserts to help some of the most vulnerable women and children. This is the story of Beatrice. Beatrice is from Rwanda and barely lived through the genocide. She had 10 children and eight of them were murdered within days of each other. Beatrice escaped to Uganda with her son and daughter. After that, she lost her son, so it was just her and her daughter. She was able to buy land with a house on it, and it was there that she raised her daughter and grandson. After a time, her daughter and grandson moved to Bwama. As Beatrice was aging, her daughter urged her to sell her property back in Rwanda and move to Bwama where they could care for her. Her daughter and grandson took that money, built a house where Beatrice would live with them for 10 years. Then her grandson was planning to get married and wouldn't have room for Beatrice. He told those around him that she was a witch doctor and he was chasing her away from his house. He said she was not his grandmother, Yaya, anymore. He got her a small room and left her with a little money and food. Beatrice is 80 years old. She had three months rent to secure the room. That was all she had. The landlord knew that she had nothing, so he said she could work in the fields to cover the rent. Beatrice would go very early in the morning before the sun rose and work till it got too hot for her. Justine, the co-founder and director of Women of Faith and Hope Uganda, met Beatrice and found she wasn't a witch doctor. She'd never practiced witchcraft. She grew up Catholic in Rwanda and carried her faith with her, but the Catholic Church wouldn't help her. She was at her lowest point. Beatrice told them she wanted to end her life. Women of Faith and Hope Uganda went to her landlord and paid for one year of rent. She didn't have a bed, just a rotten piece of foam on the floor. So the Women of Faith and Hope Uganda bought her a bed, mattress sheets, and a blanket. They gave her supplies that she would need for daily life and some new clothes. All the ladies came together, cleaned her room, and set it up for her. After she bathed, she put on her new clothes. The tiny community knew Beatrice and what had happened to her. Once they saw how everyone came together to care for her, they realized they were watching the hands and feet of Jesus in action. They had heard of Jesus, but they had never met true Christians or witnessed such love for someone they had never met. That day, Beatrice accepted Jesus as her personal Savior, along with two others. Beatrice said she now knows that God sees her and cares for her, and that He truly is a loving Father. The village counselor told Justine that he had been preached at, but he only became a believer by seeing Christianity at work. Women of Faith and Hope Uganda will continue to be a support to Beatrice, and we ask that you join us. 
Women of Faith Uganda can be found on the web at wofahu.org. You can volunteer, you can donate, most of all, you can help. God bless you. Thank you for helping me. Aren't those cute? That was from Kids Day, May 31st. The city of Franklin does some wonderful things with their parks and rec. And uh, that was Kids Day. Uh, the city of Franklin is always doing something with their parks and rec for the community. And we love that. Congratulations to our nonprofit winner at the Main Street Awards in Sumner County the Habitat for Humanity, Sumner County. And they want to encourage you that if you're doing a renovation or a redo, or you maybe brought the wrong size of something and you can't return it, the ReStore in, in, in Sumner County, they can use it, even a doorknob. The Habitat for Humanity, Sumner County, has a fabulous restore. If you're going to redo your house, also shop there. They have cabinets. They have new things, and they have things that have been donated, th things that have been pulled from houses, uh, overstocks. All of those come into play. Uh, I've seen people just go in and paint. I mean, if you haven't, everything's more expensive now, but even a can of paint is like unbelievable. And you can get it at such a great price there. And uh, um, this is also Medical Monday. We have a new medical feature that we want to bring to you. And, you know, you remember, don't take a pill, call Dr. Gill. Well, the Gill Centers, uh, I 
I've been on the search for a new chiropractor. I am so bad about lifting and turning and putting things out of whack. Chiropractors are amazing. And Dr. Tui, I got to sit down with her this past Friday and got to really get to meet her. We're going to be talking with some of those conversations coming up, but I thought I would show you a little bit about before you go into something invasive like a surgery or you start taking pills that start taking your life, think about a non-surgical work that could get rid of the pain in your back. It really is possible. Welcome back to Today's Better Health. I'm Colleen Barton and I'm here with Dr. Gil Kentoff and Dr. Wendy Tui, and we're talking about the latest treatments in back and neck pain. Many people, Colleen, come to see us with neck and back pain and they develop tingling and numbness down the arm or lower back pain that develops into sciatica shooting down their leg. And for these patients, we have an advanced treatment technology, non-surgical decompression therapy that we really introduce to this area. It separates the vertebrae and creates a suction to allow fluids and nutrients back in to heal the disc naturally, relieving pressure on the nerve and on the joint. It's an amazing treatment. We've been helping patients like this for the last 30 years, helping them get back to work, get back to their family, get back to the life they want to live. I mean, it really is amazing. Technology helping us to live pain-free and better lives. Right. And I bet you have a special offer. The first 25 callers will receive an examination, x-rays, review of our findings, and the first treatment, all for $39. Call 615-551-3897 today to receive this special offer. And I love it. Call me painfree.com. I, I love that. And I just loved meeting Dr. Tui. I, and she says, it's not like you see on YouTube, all the popping and cracking and stuff like that. There are a lot of other modalities. And I said, do you work with knees? And she says, yeah, we got some stuff for knees too. So I said, because, you know, I fell last week and I said, I've got some issues with the knee and my foot. And I said, I, I said, I just, I need a little help. And she said, we do it all the time. So be pain free. It's in the Watkins Glen Shopping Center there in Franklin, off right off 96. Well, let's go to, to Gallatin now, where you can actually adopt a street. No judgment here. I'm just going to clean your litter <laughs> on Harris Lane. <laughs> Harris Lane is one of our newest adopted streets. And I am actually one of the first people who is a solo person who adopted Old Street. I broke all the rules and now you can too. You know, I've been cutting through, this is my way into work, and every every day I cut through this, this area, and it's fine, There's, I forget the name of the apartments down the way. Um, Chandler. Chandler does a great job at picking up the coffee shop, Graham, Graham and Company coffee shop. But when you get to the railroad tracks, there's so much litter around here. And I started picking up just a few weeks ago, and technically for two years, I'm only required to pick up once a quarter, maybe. I've been cleaning up once a week just because there are people who just throw garbage here weekly. And I hate to see it. If you notice here, it's Jeff Henschel, TCB. If you don't know what that means, it's taking care of business. And that's what we're doing right here on, on Harris Lane. And if anybody is interested in adopting a street, how, how could they inquire further? They can contact uh, Diana Johnson, who is running the camera today at uh, Public Works, and uh, she will get you all set up. The city will provide your, uh, your all your materials that's needed, trash bags, litter grabbers, gloves, safety vest, signage, and we'll also put a sign with your name or group's name on the street that you want to adopt. So just contact us at Public Works. Who do you contact? Diana Johnson. <laughs> Six one five four five one five nine oh nine. Oh dear. All right. <laughs> Public works in the city of Gallatin. There is a reason they they're just the prettiest little township around it. And that's why Reader's Digest loved them so much and spotted the spotlighted them a couple of years ago as the friendliest town in America. And I just I love it. I just absolutely love it. You know what else I love? The Nashville Sounds. You can't see the sights without the sounds. From the crack of the bat to the roar of the crowd and everything in between, discover what Hit City has to offer. Spend your nights cheering on the Nashville Sounds at First Horizon Park with giveaways, fireworks shows, theme weekends, and more. Single game tickets are on sale now. Visit NashvilleSounds.com to claim your seat today. I want to tell you about the high school summer pass at Planet Fitness. If you've got teens that are sitting around the house and you're going, oh, dear Lord, they need to do something. They need to do something. Well, 
teens aged 14 to 19 can work out totally free for their summer pass until August 31st. Get them on in there and let them see what's going on uh, because it's really cool. And, and the more they participate, the more points they raise. And at the end of that August 31st, they're going to be giving grants to the most participating schools, athletic things, up to $10,000 grants given, given away to local schools. So you guys, it's just great. So 14 to 19 year olds, listen up, summer pass, Planet Fitness. Also this Sunday, part of um, the CMA Music Fest, it's just a 40, this is the 41st year of a Sunday morning country t- tradition. It's been going on with when it was fanfare, it's going on now. The 41st annual Sunday morning country. It's at the Opry House and it's at 4.30. The doors open actually earlier than that with a pre-show at 4 o'clock. Opry.com to get your tickets. John Barry will be there. Kelly Lang will be there. Charlie McCoy. Uh, I mean, uh, just a ton of people. The Fox Brothers and uh, Tim Atwood will be there. It, the Girls Next Door will be there. It's just going to be, it's just a fun, fun visit. Um, before I get out of here, let me make sure I say hi to everybody. Steve is there. Corinne is there. Okay. <laughs> Faith, <laughs> love those tiny donuts. Yes. And those lemon icebox ones. Yeah. And paleo donuts. Yes. Can you believe they have paleo donuts? Yeah. Okay. We just, let's just go there. Oh, Michelle is there. Uh, hey, Michelle. Uh, let's see who else. Yes, Lau, the horse that Tanya rode on to the Opry stage is amazing. Hello, Steve Bernie. Good morning to you. Um, Tanya's guest, we got to sit there and see Tanya perform. Uh, on Saturday night, she had Billy Dean and Daly and Vincent. And I saw pictures that on Sunday night, the redneck woman herself, Gretchen Wilson, joined her. How about that? Whew. How about them apples? Well, I'm telling you what, it was a great weekend for entertainment. Great in- weekend. Ah, uh, there's, look at there. Hey, girl. Hey, Shelly, weighing in from the front desk. I didn't see her when I walked in. So, you know, we walk in. <clears throat> sometimes we get busy with life. And that's why this show, I like to make it interactive so we can talk to each other. You guys let me know when there's stuff going on. And I love that about you. Well, it was a crazy good weekend and the week ahead is going to be just y'all crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, I'm having some issues. I'm trying to get my, my, my computer to work and it's doing some really, if you only knew what this computer was doing in front of me, you'd go, how's she even doing a show? Well, I don't even know, but it's crazy. And, uh, Okay, what it's doing is going black, white, black, white, black, white. So I don't know what I'm going to hit here toward the end of the show, but I'm going to tell you, be safe, be kind, and remember you are loved. Cross your fingers that this works. Okay, are you ready, Troy? We are home. We are family. We are things to do in.